All right, guys, so yesterday we were talking about um, two categorical variables being independent. And they were independent when, say, for example, we were talking about the ice cream problem where whether we picked an adult or a child, um, they both groups were equally likely of preferring an ice cream cone to an ice cream bowl. Um, but if things are independent, they're not as useful. When you see differences in categorical variables, that gives you an idea of maybe a correlation. Remember, correlation does not mean causation, but there's going to be some kind of correlation. Like, let's, for example, look at these, uh, this table representing uh, 500 people who either do or do not have cancer and either do or do not smoke. So if we look at this, we notice that 75 out of 100 people have cancer that are... Uh, Sorry, 75 out of 100 people who uh, have cancer are also in the smoke category, and only 25 out of 100 um, in the cancer category do not smoke. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that smoking leads to cancer, because we haven't also looked at what percentage of smokers have cancer. Maybe we just interviewed a lot more smokers. Um, that doesn't appear to be the case in this picture, because it appears to be that 75 out of 110 smokers have cancer, whereas if you don't smoke, only 25 out of 390 have cancer. So this would suggest that there's some kind of correlation between smoking and having cancer. Although uh, some people might argue the other way and just say, hey, if we look at people who have cancer, 75 out of 100 choose to smoke. And people who uh, don't have cancer, only 35 out of 400 choose to smoke. I think cancer causes people to have the desire to smoke. So remember, uh, that's kind of a silly argument, but it's an argument that statisticians might make just because they want to argue that uh, whether the important thing as a statistician, I guess, is to try and figure out um, what's correlation, what's causation, what are the things you can control to better a situation. All right, let's talk about a different situation that is not independent or it is independent. Let's think about maybe some of these are independent. Anyways, this is a, a local eatery um, kept track of burgers and hot dogs that were being sold to men, women, and children. Now, we want to find out... Um, is ordering a burger or a hot dog, is that um, independent of uh, adult gender or age? So what are the chances that a man will order a burger? Uh, well, that's 20 out of a total of 50 men. So that's reduced. 20 out of 50 reduces to two-fifths. Um, burger for women, that's 40 out of 100. Well, 40 out of 100 also reduces to two-fifths. So it seems like this some kind of independent scenario um, where it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, you're equally likely to pick a burger or a hot dog. Um, what about a child? That's 50 out of 250 for a burger, which reduces to one-fifth. So there might not be a difference between men and women, but there is a difference between adults and children. So as we're looking at different tables here in the next couple of days, I want you to just think about um, are there trends and is this a causation situation? Um, that we might be able to infer, at least we know there's a correlation.